Imagine looking up at the night sky and seeing a streak of light moving faster than anything you've ever witnessed. It's not a shooting star, nor a passing satellite, but something far more advanced, something that signals a dramatic shift in the world's military landscape. This is the Oreshnik missile, a name now echoing through the world's power corridors. Once a closely guarded secret, it's now at the center of global attention, sparking debates and concerns among military experts and world leaders alike. Born from Russian engineering, Oreshnik isn't just another rocket. It's a hypersonic missile that's rewriting the rules of warfare. Years of research, innovation, and relentless testing have culminated in a weapon that pushes the boundaries of speed and maneuverability. Its first known use in late 2024 shocked the globe, not just for its speed, but for what it means, a weapon that can outpace and outmaneuver existing defenses. The world watched in disbelief as traditional security measures were rendered nearly obsolete in a matter of seconds. The Oreshnik is an intermediate-range ballistic missile with a twist. It carries a hypersonic glide vehicle, capable of unpredictable maneuvers. Unlike conventional missiles, it can change course mid-flight, making it nearly impossible to intercept or predict. This missile challenges the very foundation of global security, where the ability to see and respond to threats has kept peace for decades. Now, the old playbook is being rewritten, and nations are scrambling to adapt to this new reality. With Oreshnik, that window of reaction shrinks to almost nothing. Decisions that once took minutes now must be made in seconds, leaving little room for error or hesitation. It's more than hardware, it's a symbol of a new era, forcing us all to reconsider what security means in a rapidly changing world. The Oreshnik represents not just technological progress but a profound shift in the balance of power and the strategies that define global peace. As we explore Oreshnik, we'll uncover not just how it works but how it's reshaping the fragile balance of global peace. The story of this missile is the story of our future, one where speed, innovation, and uncertainty redefine what it means to be secure. Hypersonic, more than just a buzzword, it's a leap into a new realm of speed. This term signifies a monumental shift in how we perceive velocity and its implications on technology and warfare. Supersonic is Mach 1, hypersonic is Mach 5 and above, over 3,800 miles per hour. This is a threshold where traditional aerodynamics give way to new challenges and opportunities. The Oreshnik reportedly exceeds Mach 11, turning it into a man-made meteor blazing through the upper atmosphere. Such speeds redefine the limits of human engineering and imagination. At these speeds, air molecules can't move aside fast enough, creating a sheath of plasma around the missile. This plasma not only affects the missile's visibility but also its communication capabilities. Hypersonic weapons compress time and distance, crossing continents in minutes leaving almost no time to react. This rapid transit capability challenges existing defense systems and strategies. Achieving this isn't just about faster engines, it's about surviving temperatures that melt steel and forces that shatter conventional aircraft. The materials used must withstand extreme conditions, pushing the boundaries of material science. Guidance systems must work flawlessly inside a bubble of plasma that blocks radio signals. This requires innovative solutions to ensure precision and reliability in navigation. Hypersonic technology is a triumph of engineering pushing the boundaries of physics and human ingenuity. It represents a collaborative effort of scientists and engineers dedicated to overcoming unprecedented challenges. It's not just speed, it's a new way of thinking about warfare where the old rules no longer apply. The strategic implications are vast, altering the balance of power on a global scale. The Oreshnik's velocity isn't just impressive, it's transformative, shrinking the world and upending our sense of security. It forces nations to reconsider their defense postures and alliances. In this new era, the difference between peace and catastrophe can be measured in seconds. The rapid response required challenges existing military protocols and decision-making processes. Hypersonic missiles are not just faster, they're fundamentally different. Their ability to maneuver at high speeds makes them unpredictable and difficult to intercept. They force us to rethink what's possible and what's at stake. As we advance into this hypersonic age, the challenges and opportunities it presents will shape the future of global security and technological innovation. For decades, ballistic missiles have followed predictable arching paths through the sky, trajectories that were relatively easy for defense systems to track and, with enough warning, even possible to intercept. 
These missiles would soar high above the Earth, tracing a visible curve that gave defenders precious minutes to respond. Missile defense systems were built around this predictability. The process was straightforward. See the launch, calculate the trajectory, and try to shoot it down before it reached its target. This cat-and-mouse game defined the balance of power for generations, but hypersonic missiles like Oreshnik have changed the rules of the game entirely. After launch, these advanced weapons release a glide vehicle that remains within the upper atmosphere, skimming the edge of space. Unlike traditional warheads, this glide vehicle can maneuver unpredictably at extreme speeds, making its path almost impossible to forecast. It's not just a rock falling to Earth. It's a guided supersonic phantom, weaving and dodging through the sky, actively evading defenses with every twist and turn. Traditional systems are designed to intercept a bullet on a known path. Hypersonic weapons are like bullets that can swerve mid-flight, changing direction in ways that confound even the most advanced tracking systems. These missiles fly too low and too fast for many existing radars to track them effectively. By hugging the atmosphere and moving at blistering speeds they often remain invisible until it's far too late to react. Even if detected, their unpredictable maneuvers make interception nearly impossible. Defense operators are left scrambling, unable to predict where the missile will go next. The old playbook is now obsolete. Decades of strategy and technology have been rendered ineffective almost overnight. Oreshnik's combination of blistering speed and agile maneuverability is a true game-changer, rendering much of the world's missile defense infrastructure ineffective and outdated. The balance has shifted dramatically, offense now outpaces defense and the advantage lies with those who possess hypersonic technology. This new reality demands a complete rethink of global security strategies. Nations must adapt quickly or risk falling behind in a rapidly changing landscape. Hypersonic flight isn't just about being faster, it's about being fundamentally less predictable, more agile, and ultimately, far more dangerous than anything that came before. Let's follow Oreshnik's journey from launch to impact. It begins with a thunderous rocket boost propelling the missile skyward. Once above the thick atmosphere, the main boosters drop away and the hypersonic glide vehicle is released. Unlike traditional warheads, this vehicle surfs the edge of space, maneuvering at over five times the speed of sound. It can change direction and altitude, evading detection and interception. Encased in plasma, it becomes a ghost on radar, nearly impossible to track. As it nears its target, it dives steeply, striking with almost no warning. The entire journey from launch to impact can take less than 30 minutes. Most of that time, the missile is untraceable, unpredictable, and unstoppable. Oreshnik's flight profile is a masterclass in evasion, making defense nearly impossible. This is the new face of strategic weaponry, fast, agile, and nearly invisible. Oreshnik isn't just fast, it can carry a nuclear warhead, making it a force of nature. Hypersonic missiles add a destabilizing variable to nuclear strategy, the possibility of a first strike with almost no warning. Their speed and unpredictability could disable an adversary's arsenal before they can respond. This compresses decision-making from hours to minutes, increasing the risk of catastrophic miscalculation. Oreshnik's nuclear capability isn't just about destruction, it's about changing the psychology of conflict. The threat of a hypersonic first strike shortens fuses and raises the stakes, making nuclear peace more fragile than ever. In this new era, the margin for error is vanishingly small. Oreshnik is the latest chapter in Russia's long history of missile innovation. From Tsiolkovsky's theories to Korolev's rockets, Russia has led in rocketry since the dawn of the space age. Cold War competition drove relentless advances, with missiles like the R-36 forming the backbone of deterrence. In recent years, Russia focused on asymmetric technologies like hypersonic weapons to offset Western advantages. Oreshnik builds on decades of expertise, moving hypersonic missiles from prototype to battlefield reality. Its combat debut marks a turning point. Russia's mastery of complex physics is now reshaping global strategy. The same forge that built rockets for space now produces weapons that redefine power on Earth. For years, nations invested trillions in missile defense, satellites, radars, interceptors, all designed for predictable ballistic threats. Oreshnik and its hypersonic kin render much of this shield obsolete. By flying within the upper atmosphere, they evade space-based sensors and stay hidden from ground radars until the last moments. Their speed and maneuverability make interception nearly impossible. 
defenders have only seconds to react with almost zero margin for error. Existing systems can't cope with this new threat. Building a defense against hypersonic weapons would require a vast expensive overhaul, new sensors, faster interceptors, and global coverage. For now, the advantage has shifted decisively to the attacker. The world's defensive playbook is outdated. Oreshnik exposes a profound vulnerability in even the most advanced nations. Oreshnik's debut sent shockwaves through the international community. NATO and US allies now face a technological gap, triggering urgent efforts to develop their own hypersonic weapons and defenses. China, already pursuing similar technology, sees Russia's use as validation and a source of valuable data. For many nations, the world suddenly feels more dangerous and unpredictable. Calls for new arms control treaties are growing, but the technology is new, the rules unclear, and trust is in short supply. Oreshnik has forced a global reckoning. The future of warfare is faster, less predictable, and harder to control. The world must adapt quickly, or risk catastrophe. Oreshnik isn't just a missile, it's a symbol of shifting power. The old nuclear balance was tense but stable. Hypersonic weapons disrupt that, creating a more complex, unstable world. Offense now outpaces defense, increasing the temptation for preemptive strikes and lowering the threshold for conflict. Some hope these weapons will create a new deterrence, others fear they make the world more fragile and accident-prone. The risk of miscalculation is higher than ever. As of September 2025, we stand at a crossroads. Our technological prowess is both our greatest strength and our gravest danger. The future of peace depends on new wisdom, diplomacy, and restraint. Oreshnik is a stark reminder, our creations can protect or destroy us. The challenge is to manage this new era before it's too late.